Hello and welcome to a brief video on finding sides using Sokotoa. All Sokotoa is it's just um, trigonometric ratios which help us to find sides uh, or sometimes angles on right angle triangles. Here we've got a right angle triangle. Here we don't know one of the sides and what we can use is we can use this idea of Sokotoa to find out what that missing angle is. Now these are just what we call trigonometric ratios. This S stands for sine, the C stands for um, cosine, and the T stands for tangent. The other letters in this refer to the sides of the triangle. So O and H refer to sides of our triangle, the A and the H refer to sides of our triangle, and the O and the A refer to sides of our triangle. So the S, C and T refer to the angle that we've got. So let's start off by <clears throat> labelling up our triangle. So the O here, this just means the opposite. Um, so the H stands for the hypotenuse, the A stands for the adjacent. So I need to label my triangle with these sides. So let's take a look at this side first. The side that is opposite the right angle, and it's also the longest side of a right angle triangle, is going to be the hypotenuse. Okay, that is that's what's it what it is called. Now the other two sides on a right angle triangle, they um, change and they are relative to the angle that we have been given. So the angle we've been given is in this corner here. The opposite is simply the side that is opposite that angle. So we're going to label this side here O because it's opposite where the angle that we've been given is. And then that means that the adjacent is the one that we haven't labelled yet. And the adjacent is the one that is um, touching the angle, which is not the longest side. Now the opposite and the adjacent can swap if, say for example, we had the angle up the top there because then the opposite would become this one here and the adjacent would be the one that was touching it. Okay, now we've labelled this up, we can go about trying to find out um, what's, what this missing length is here. So we do this using our Sokotoa over here on the right and we need to figure out which one of these to use. Are we going to use So, Ka or Toa? Now the way in which we decide that is we look at what we've got and what we are trying to find. We are trying to find the opposite and we have got the hypotenuse. So we look for our triangle where we've got the O and the H in. The O and the H is in SO. So I'm going to be using this one here. Now I'm looking for the O in this, the opposite in this triangle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover up the O on, my tri on, on this um, little grid here. That leaves me with just the S, which is the sine of the angle, so the sine of 30, and the H, which is 10. Now, to use this, if they are on the same level, if they are on the same level, I multiply them together. So I've got sine 30 multiplied by 10, and that is going to give me an answer of 5. So what I could say here is that the length of this side here, x, is equal to 5 centimetres. Um, we can just check that on our calculator. So we would type in, uh, we would type in sine of the angle, 30, multiplied by 10, and that will give us an answer of 5. Um, let's take a look at the next one. So here, let's start by labelling the sides of our right angle triangle. So labelling the sides here, I've got the angle here and I'm looking to find the side that is opposite the right angle. So that's my hypotenuse. The side that is opposite the angle is my opposite and so this one here must be my adjacent. Um, <clears throat> so I've, I've got the adjacent, I'm looking for the hypotenuse so this time I'm going to be using A and the H, so I'm going to be using Ka. Now again, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cover up 
the part that I'm looking for in this little uh, grid that I've got. So I'm looking for the hypotenuse, so I'm going to cover that up. So what I've got is I've got the adjacent, which is 6, over, over the cosine of the angle. So over cos of 60. So if I type this into my calculator, this is going to give me an answer. So 6 divided by the cosine of 60. So 6 divided by cos 60. That's going to give me an answer of 12. Um, OK, next one. <clears throat> Again, let's start by labelling up um, our triangle. So I have got, in this one, I have got the opposite here. I've got the hypotenuse here. And I've got the adjacent here. So the two that I've got that I'm look one that I'm looking for and the other one that I know is the opposite and the adjacent. So this time I'm going to be using TOA, the opposite and the adjacent is in TOA. And what am I looking to find? I'm looking to find the adjacent. So I'm going to cover that up on the grid. And so I've got O divided by the tan of the angle. So the opposite here, the O, that is 6. And that is going to be divided by the tan of the angle 18. So 6 divided by tan 18. Um, feed that into my calculator. So 6 divided by the tan of 18. And that's going to give me an answer of 18.4661122. So what I could say is that that is 18.5 to three significant figures. Okay, last one. I've got, um, what have I got here? Well, the side opposite the right angle is my hypotenuse. Then the side that is opposite where the angle is, that's going to be my opposite. And then the side that is touching the angle, which is not the hypotenuse, is my adjacent. So I have got the hypotenuse. I'm looking for the adjacent. So I'm going to be using ka again. Uh, this time I'm looking to find the adjacent. So I cover up the adjacent on my little grid. And so I'm going to do the cosine of the angle, the cos of the angle. So my angle is 23, so it's going to be cos 23. And then because these two are on the same level, I'm multiplying them, not dividing them this time. So it's cos 23 multiplied by the hypotenuse which is 10 and that is going to give me this the length of this side here the adjacent um, so let's type that into my calculator so cos of 23 and I'm just going to put that in brackets um, you don't necessarily have to uh, but some calculators go a bit funny if you don't do it so cos 23 multiplied by 10 and that gives me an answer of uh, 9.21 to 3 significant figures. So 9.21 to 3 significant figures.